couple of years ago, we launched Boing Boing's video project uh, as kind of an outgrowth of the blog. And we were still thinking of video as something that you embed in a blog post and something that a, a text conversation happens around. And a couple of years into that, we're, we're really thinking about how best to present video content in a I don't know, video-centric way. It sounds gimmicky, but um, video is not a blog. So we have, uh, there's, there's a, like a big player right in the middle of the screen, right at the top of the screen. That's the focal point. And everything else around that is a, a visually driven search interface. So we produce somewhere between three and five episodes a week. And uh, some of those, I would say a good 40% um, of what we produce is original and uh, entirely produced in-house with me or one of the other Boing Boing guys hosting and something that we cut from start to finish. Um, another chunk of, of the content that we put out might be uh, animations or music videos that we acquire from creators who are kind of thinking along the same lines that we are in terms of um, you know, just common cultural ground and using Creative Commons license. Uh, and then some portion of what we do also, uh, particularly with the international material, involves putting cameras in the hands of people who are not typically storytellers and working with them to help tell their stories in a way that feels honest and authentic. This episode of Born Born Video is made possible by WePC.com. Tell us sort of the business model around video for Boing Boing. Um, we figured it out uh, well enough to still be on the air, I'll just say that. I mean, I, I don't think anybody really has a magic formula down. Uh, every month or so, uh, a new sponsor comes around, and uh, sometimes sponsors will uh, pay us to sponsor a certain period of time. So like for, for a month, Dell or Intel or Verizon will sponsor everything that we output. And sometimes a sponsor comes along and says, uh, we will sponsor every animation piece that you release or we if, if you do a piece of tech news each week we want to underwrite that and there are different ways that will display that branding uh, we can do um, branded or skinned players so there's a little logo that shows up in the flash embed uh, we do pre-roll and mid-roll ads within the video um, you know and other stuff sort of a little text mention in the blog or um, I forget what the technical term is for this but these like little pop-ups that, that have overlay yeah the overlays yeah What's exciting about video reporting in, 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 from your point of view? Oh boy, um, it's a richer emotional experience in some ways. Uh, there, it, it is um, less of the voice of the reporter is involved. I mean, at its best, I think there's more of of the world and the story itself, just kind of kind of right there coming at you, than there is uh, me as a reporter, kind of telling you what I have seen or what I am experiencing or why this matters. Um, it, I mean, if you just even think about the way the files are constructed, a, a text file versus a photograph versus a, a, a five minutes worth of video which is the largest file size, which carries the most data. Um, video is the richest of, of all the media that we have available right now.